Hi guys, today we have another video. Today I'm going to be updating my top favorite phones. This will be my top favorite out of my collection. So I'll be doing each phone I, uh, in order. With which one's my highest to my lowest favorite. Or just high, highest to least. Or my favorite, my most favorite to my least favorite. Yeah, so. Yeah. Let me just get out my first favorite, or actually no, my, let me get out my first favorite phone. I'm going to start from my fa my most favorite to my least favorite, and I'll give you a reason why. This phone is still my first favorite. This is the Audio Box or UT Starcom, uh, since this is both inside the battery compartment. Uh, it's uh, Audio Box CDM8940 on Verizon. I'll tell you why I like it. First, I like how this camera pops out like that. And I like the chrome camera cover. I like how cool the buttons look, how they're so like professional looking for a flip phone. I like the that little antenna. I'm not popping it out though. I like how it has mini SD. This is mini SD card. Yeah, this is my first favorite phone, so I'll put it up there. Uh, my... And then, where's the Nokia? Oh, here it is. Uh, here's the Nokia 8260 and AT&T. This is my second favorite phone. Because I just like the color of it and how it's... My first Nokia candy bar from my only one. Uh, next would be this. I just like this phone because it's, it's my first track phone device and it works. And yeah, I'm not turning it on now. So I don't want to make this video too long. And this phone is also my favorite. I meant to do this in my top five favorite, but yeah, this is my fourth favorite phone. So I just like how it's on Windows phone. I'm about to find a charger for this. Uh, I'm not sure about the model, what it was, but yeah, but it's. I like the how the screen is like a mirror. Like that the keyboard though. Yeah, so that's my fourth favorite. Right, next up, uh, if I can find it, yeah, it's this. Uh, it's Samsung SGH A777. Oh, and that was the Samsung. That was the Samsung. Sorry about all the noise, but I know that it's a Samsung SGH. Uh, S125G on track phone. This, this is a uh, this is on AT and T. That's my only working Java phone that I own. So yeah. Uh, next up would probably be this. Uh, this I uh, gained back an Android two phone. Samsung Transform on Sprint. Sorry about that. There was a lot of noise for a second, but here is a, yeah, it's a Samsung Transform on Sprint. I bought a battery for this, but for some reason it was coming from Los Angeles, California. I went to Arizona, and now and went to New Mexico, which is farther below. I live all the way in New Jersey, so yeah. So it's just kind of odd where it went. Uh, besides that, yeah. So I said I'll be my, my sixth favorite. Next up uh, would probably be. Uh, where is it? If I could ever find it. Oh, yeah, 
Lakers and Nokia Lumia 80, uh, no, 830 on, not 8030, it's uh, Nokia Lumia 830 on AT&T, works, uh, the reason why I like it is just because it's so slim looking, yeah, there's only nothing else to explain, it's a pretty cool phone, that would be my seventh favorite. Uh, next up, uh, next up we have the Samsung SGH T319 on T-Mobile. I like this phone because I just like the colors. Uh, I like how thick it is. It's, you know, it's a pretty cool little phone. I got this along with the Nokia right here. Uh, but yeah. Hold on, how do you open this? Okay, there we go. Oh, let me flip open the other devices. Okay, that'll be my eighth favorite. Slide this open. Oh, three slide phones in a row. My only slide phones, I think. Uh, my eighth favorite. My next favorite would probably be the Nokia E62-1 on T-Mobile. I just like this phone because it looks like a Blackberry. Since I don't have a Blackberry, it kind of looks like one. Uh, I like the, how the power button is placed. I tested it. It does not work, so I think it needs a new battery. The so charging port looks perfectly fine. And I like how the battery is. Sorry about how messy this is. And I was not trying to be rough with my phones. I'm not like Techno Meme YT or any of that. I like his channel. I actually was just watching a video on his channel before this. Yeah, I like how the battery looks like carbon fiber. So that'll be my ninth favorite. Uh, my next would probably be this phone right here, the Nokia 100 AU. Uh, I just like how big this thing is, like with the antenna up. I did this in my phone collection video like two days ago. Look how tall this thing is, and like how that antenna is. It just lost the antenna liner, but whatever. And the battery's massive. It's 7.2 volt, but 800 milliamps. Have to put it diagonal. That's my 10th favorite, so that's it. That's for the top 10. Uh, next up, my next favorite would probably be the, the Motorola i730 on Nextel. I just like this phone because it's very, it's my only Nextel device. And I just like that speaker grill and this down here, which is not a speaker grill. Uh, and I like how the T9 text input keyboard is laid out. So yeah. Yeah. And then next up would probably be the uh, the Samsung Galaxy. Actually, no, not that phone. The Samsung, no, not the the HTC Desire 626s. Since there's two of them, this one will go ahead of it since it does not have a cracked screen. Actually, they both have cracked crack screens, I think. No, this one does not. Yeah. I, I just like this phone because it's very cool, like, looking for a phone from 2015. So, yeah. Put both of those there. Those are both actually going on top of each other. So, yeah. Since they're both particularly one phone. Since they're both the exact same. Next up will be the Samsung. Or the Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge on Boost Mobile. Uh, 
I just like this phone because it's it's high end looking, but it's not really. That's why it's kind of down below. It's Samsung. Yeah, I like this phone. So, well, my first favorite was up there. Let me just pause the video. So there's my 13. There's 13 of those. That was my 13th favorite. Next up, we'll be the Motorola StarTac. Or not StarTac, Time Port. It's not, this, one's not, this is not a StarTac, it's actually a Time Port. Yeah, I'm not sure what carrier it's on. It's it faded away up here. Yeah, it's a Motorola Time Port. And I just like how the screen is so metallic. So I think this is actually a, a colored screen phone, so yeah, that'd be cool if I get a charger for it. I'm definitely getting a charger for this HTC, but 3 phone clutch instead of get a charger for the audio box up here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So this can go right here. I still have my Apple devices. I'm doing separate. These will just be all the Androids and etc. from these favorites. And then I'll do Apple devices and I'll rate those. I'm actually not doing Apple devices. This will just be just these. My next will be it's this and Nokia. And Nokia is I'm not doing Uh, next up will be the Nokia Lumia 530. I like this phone because it's a Windows phone, just like this one. Uh, but it's you know, very bland looking. So yeah, that's the only thing I really like about it. Is it? It does not look like a Windows phone, but it is. Next up will be the Motorola E First Gen on T-Mobile. Uh, I do not know the carrier on that. This thing. Works. Um, there's really nothing I like about it. That's why it's my. Uh, that's why it's my my 16th favorite. My 17th favorite. My least favorite in my in these devices is the Panasonic TG uh, KX dash TGA 652. It's just uh, cordless phone, so there's really nothing special about it. I'm going to put that one diagonalist to match up with that. So yeah, those are these devices. It's time to move on. This is a really long video. It's already 13 minutes and 3 seconds. Apple devices. First, I'll start off with the iPhone 4. It's my favorite Apple device in my collection, since it's my only iPhone in my collection. Uh, my iPhone 4S. It's in almost... It's in good... It's in great condition for what it is. Also, because it was in a case, you can see the leftover residue around the Apple logo a little. Yeah, so just the, I just like how it's just on iOS 9, which sucks, but it's still one of my favorites. I can tell by the way it looks. You can see all the other devices I just did. Uh, next up will be the iPod Touch 4th Gen in black at 8GB. I like this because this is my main iPod in 2018. Yep. Just because it has a crack. This screen well, has. I ain't gave me that, so that's why it's one of my favorites. Uh, next up will be the. If I can get out. The iPod Touch 2nd Gen 8GB. Uh, because this phone. It is not phone. This iPod is on iOS 3.1.3, it's a second gen, which is rare. It's normally on iOS 4.1.2, it's on iOS 3.1.3, which means it was never updated to the newest version. Next up is the iPod Touch, fourth generation white 8GB. This one is my favorite because there's, this is not many scratches for an iPod like this. So yeah, the only bad thing is, is that it has... 
and iCloud. Sorry, more noise again. Uh, it hasn't. It's in, it's, it just has a. Uh, needs to be restored to iTunes, but I can't do that because for some reason it won't work. So yeah, but it's in basically mint condition for that type of device. Next up will be the iPod. Actually, yeah, the iPod Shuffle first generation uh, because I have a box for this. And it's in mint condition, as you can see. It didn't come with everything, but it, yeah, it's in mint condition. It has, and I have the box with like the lanyard and stuff for it. So yeah, that will go here. It's a weird thing. My Apple device is separate, but whatever. Made it easier, so I have separates. Here, well, next I'll be doing. Actually, no. Let me actually. Uh, next will be the white iPod Touch, 32 gigabyte. This is the fourth gen. Uh, the only reason why I'm putting this as my uh, my sixth favorite because it works on. Well, it works, and it's a 32 gigabyte, so higher storage. It's the highest storage capacity. But I'm only keeping all the way down here because it has you know, a lot of scratches on the back. Not as bad condition as this one, but since I so since this one was my daily uh, and back in 2018, I I guess I'll put it there. And it was my fault. It was not my fault. White crack. It actually was. I accidentally dropped it. Uh, this iPod is I got given to me by most of the some of the phones over here. Like I'm not telling I'm not I forgot which ones, but this was given to me by the exact same person, but Yeah, but it has dead pixels on the screen, so I accidentally dropped it. Alright, so that's my sixth favorite. My least favorite is the iPod Nano third gen. The only reason why this is in horribly bad shape. And this is actually the box for it. it came from GameStop. It says iPod Nano third in Gen 3, 8 gigabyte. Yeah, this is an 8 gigabyte iPod Nano, third gen. Uh, it's only my least favorite because it it's very broken on the inside. My brother gave this to me, so I gave him an iPod Classic. But my friend gave me the iPod Classic for my birthday, and then I had to give that back to him. And he gave me an L for, in, for that. He gave me an LG Optimus. On um, I forget what model it was, but it was on Metro PCS, and I had to give that back to him. So yeah, so, and I don't see him anymore because he's because we're in a different grade. But yeah, my my brother gave this to me. He lives at me, so my friend gave me an iPod Classic, which I wish I still had it. But yeah, it's only my least favorite because it's very beat up. Sorry if this is confusing, but yeah, this will be it for the my video on my top my favorite devices in order. Uh, if you've liked this video, please go like, uh, comment if you have any questions, uh, and go subscribe and hit the bell icon for uploads. Make more uploads. So yeah. Peace.